doing your own thing is extremely important. It's something that you should always be aware of and you should always try to do. When someone gives you advice, whether it be financial advice, educational advice, advice on relationships, whatever it is, or when you read something on the internet, always ask yourself, does it make sense? And I think that people here on this channel in particular, since this is a mathematics channel, we have, I don't wanna say the ability, but we do, we have the ability, but we are used to thinking critically about things. When you are trying to solve a math problem, it can be very challenging. You have to really think about what you're doing. You have to think about the steps. You have to think about what you know and what is it you don't know that you need in order to solve the problem. So you really have to analyze the situation. In life, when you are reading something on the internet, when your friends are giving you advice or when you're watching a video and the person in the video is giving you advice, you need to think critically. Is, is this correct? Is this good advice? Is this something that I should be doing? Think for yourself. At the same time, there's a fine line. You don't want to go to the other extreme and say, oh, I, I'm gonna do my own thing and just isolate yourself from society, right? There, there's certain things in the world that are common and that are popular for a reason, right? There, there's certain things that people do because they work and, and they're common sense. But there's a lot of things in the world that don't make any sense at all. There are so many things in the world that don't make sense. And if you think about it, you'll see there's plenty of things like that. There's plenty of laws that don't make sense. You know, you can be in one country, cross a border, and all of a sudden there's a different law in the other country. Why? It's, it's the same land almost. There's an imaginary line and these countries are formed and you have these different laws. It doesn't make any sense. Why does it need to be that way, right? Well, there's reasons and that's a whole discussion, but it doesn't make sense. There's a lot of things that people do that don't necessarily make sense. A lot of those things are cultural, they're traditions. Um, and so by doing your own thing, by learning to think for yourself, you will recognize these things. And I think it's gonna give you a huge advantage over everyone else in some sense because you'll be able to see a little more clearly. You wanna be able to look at things from an objective standpoint and say, okay, this is what this person is doing. This is what this person is doing. What makes sense to me? You know, not necessarily, don't necessarily do the thing that's popular. Do the thing that you think is right. Okay, that's the key. That's the key. Even when studying mathematics or anything, right? You should learn what you want to learn. You know, if, if you're in a class and your teacher is teaching a math subject, let's just say combinatorics. That's a subject that I did not like when I was an undergraduate. I like it now. I do like it now, but when I was an undergraduate, I, I didn't like it. I also didn't like graph theory, which, which is okay, but I hated it then. And your teacher's saying, oh, graph theory is great. Combinatorics is great. This is really fun. And you're thinking it's not fun for me because I don't get it. That's okay. It doesn't have to be fun for you. Maybe later it will be fun. But don't just believe someone who says it's fun and then think it's gonna be fun for you. It's like, it's like if someone says, oh, I really like skiing. Skiing is the best thing in the world. And then you go skiing and you hate it, right? It's okay to not like things. And I'm not saying that combinatorics and graph theory isn't beautiful, but just because someone else likes something doesn't mean you should, okay? And it doesn't mean you will, and it doesn't mean you have to like it, right? Because you should be doing your own thing. And from a logical perspective, it makes sense to do your own thing because this is your life, right? This is it. All you have is right now. You don't have the minute that you just lost watching this video, 
and you don't have the minute that it's gonna pass if you keep watching this video, because that's the future, but all you have is right now. And that's all you have. And so you have to use that time to make the best decisions possible for your life. And the best way to make the best decisions possible for your life is to make decisions that make you happy, that lead you to your goals, whatever those may be, that lead you to have a healthy, good life. And those decisions are decisions only you can make because only you know what you enjoy. And that's why it's important to do your own thing, right? Do your own thing. Doing your own thing will allow you to live a happier life. It really will. In every possible way, uh, you know, physically, romantically, ed educationally, financially, in every possible way, go after what you want in life, not what society says. Oh, society says you need to be on this cruise ship, you know, eating caviar and lobster and drinking and dancing. If that's not what you want to do, then don't do it. I mean, maybe it's worth trying. I'm not saying, oh, you know, I want to do my own thing, so I'm going to lock myself in my room. No, it's, it's good to try different things. Realize that you should try to do things that make you uncomfortable and that help you grow as a person, but try to find out what you really enjoy and follow your own path. Make your own decisions. And every time you read something on the internet, please read it with a critical eye, especially on um, Reddit. I was talking about Reddit because Reddit, I feel like it's a forum, right? And I feel like I've been on the internet for a long time and before Reddit, there was other forums. And the thing with forums uh, is that you see groupthink, right? You see group thinking. You go on Reddit and someone will post something and everyone will attack a person or agree with the person. And you know, that, that comment gets upvoted and you have this group mentality. A lot of times the group mentality is wrong. And a lot of times it's right and you see why it's right and you see why it's funny and you see why comments get upvoted. But when you focus on doing your own thing, when you focus on thinking critically, you start to see these things and you go to Reddit looking for advice and you're like, no, that's wrong. What's wrong with people? And you're like, oh, wait a minute. Let me think clearly. I need to do my own thing, think critically, analyze the situation. This is the right choice. As math people, I think it's an easier skill to learn, you know, because we're already used to that, that process of, of overthinking. Not overthinking, of overanalyzing. You don't want to overthink. Don't overthink. That's, that's another video. Don't overthink. But you do want to analyze and do your own thing. So, yeah. And I wanted to make this video also because there's a lot of people who, who watch this channel and they're younger, right? There's a lot of people who are younger. Now, the, I think the, I haven't looked in a while, um, but the average age for this channel it's, it's mostly in the 20s and 30s, although it's, it's pretty spread out. There's people here in their 60s and 70s. It's pretty uniform. Um, it's pretty uniform across all ages, actually. Um, but the people who are younger, I think that, you know, when you're under 18, you're, you're more easily influenced, right? And you need to do your own thing, right? Find out what really makes you happy. If you like physics, study physics. Who cares what your friends think? If you like calculus, do calculus, right? If you want to learn something and your teacher says, oh, you don't know enough to learn it, who cares, right? On your time, you're, you're allowed to read math books, right? You, you can get a book on proof writing, right? And you can go home after class and you can sit down and you can start doing math and you can learn math that is more advanced than the math in your class. You can do that, right? No one says you can't do that. So do it. Yeah, do your own thing, right? Do what you love. If you wanna learn how to write proofs and you're in an algebra class in high school, learn to write proofs. Pick up a book on proof writing. Watch my video. I've got so many videos on books. There's so many good books. Check out my playlist and you can get a book on proof writing and you can start learning on your own. Even if your teacher says you're not ready for it, even if you're lacking the prereqs, even if I say you're not ready for it, who cares, right? You can learn what you wanna learn. Do your own thing. Do your own thing. And again, it applies, it applies to everything in life. So keep it that in mind. Keep it in mind. And people think like, oh, yeah, I'm older. It doesn't affect me. It's just younger people are influenced. No, no. See, with wisdom does not come age. That's another thing. You know, just because 
you see some guy with a beard talking about how this is how you should live your life. These are my worst regrets. Do your own thing, right? Do your own thing. I cannot emphasize that enough. It is the most important thing. People do not get smarter when they get older. Sometimes they do because they learn from experiences, but I have known plenty of people who are much older than me and I'm just not gonna say anything there, so yeah. Uh, with, with age does not come wisdom. Usually it does, usually it does. Usually, you know, the older you get, the, the more experiences you have, you do get wiser, but there's plenty of older people that just know you don't wanna be around them, so yeah. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got something from it. Subscribe if you want to. I have another channel. It's called The Internet Sorcerer. I post other kinds of content there, random stuff. Check that out if you like. I have math courses. They're on my website. They're on Udemy. But if you get them, please use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. I've got courses on algebra, calculus, etc. Advanced Calc, Abstract Algebra. I don't have a course on doing your own thing. I do have a motivational course, but uh, I think it's called like Daily Devotionals or something. But yeah. Focus on doing your own thing. Focus on independent thought, not following the crowd, pursuing your passions, pursuing your dreams, not letting people hold you back. Doing your own thing basically means that. Keep doing mathematics. Take care.